beer. It has always been here. When nearly 50,000 years ago, Stone Age man accidentally stumbled upon the fermenting arts, mankind promptly stopped hunting and gathering, and started farming, harvesting, and brewing. So in a very real sense, beer gave birth to civilization. It has been a sacrament and an anesthetic, a regiment of medicine and a method of payment. It is a reason to sing. It is a reason to dance. It could even be the reason you were born. But it most certainly is the reason you should visit the Cannon Brew Pub in beautiful and historic uptown Columbus, Georgia. Since opening our doors in 1999, the Cannon has been a beacon of beer drinkers bliss throughout the southeast region, even attracting fans from around the world who visit the area for business with one of the several global corporations based in Columbus. Students passing through en route to graduation at Columbus State University, and perhaps most importantly, the many soldiers stationed at Fort Benning that call the cannon a second home. Their service and sacrifice drive us to produce the best beer possible. And in the 13 odd years we've been brewing, we've distilled the process to a science. Want to know our secret? It is Heather McReynolds, head brewer and Pink Boot Society member. She knows her stuff. The first thing we'll do at the beginning of a brew day is get together our grains, measure them out, and load them into our grain hopper. And that grain hopper is going to be hoisted up above the brewery and then back down right over the mash tun. Uh, in the mash tun, the grains will be mixed with hot water, about 150 degrees Fahrenheit or so, and they'll steep just like a tea would for about an hour and a half. After the hour and a half, we'll move that sweet sugary wort over to the kettle. In the kettle, that's going to boil for about another hour or an hour and a half, depending on the beer we're making. And that's where we'll add the hops. The hops will add flavor, bitterness, and aroma to the beer. After that, we'll take that boiling wort and cool it down to about room temperature. We'll move it upstairs to one of our fermenters, and then we'll add the yeast. And that's where the magic happens. The yeast will convert the sugars in the wort to alcohol and carbon dioxide, and we'll have beer. That process takes about a week or so. And then after that, depending on the style, we might move it to a secondary fermenter where it might condition for about another week or so. Depending on the style of beer we're making, we might filter it, we might not filter it, but we'll move it to the bright tank. In the bright tank, it'll be carbonated. It'll carbonate for about a day or so, and then it'll be ready to serve. But there is more to life than beer, or so we've been told. And the food here at the Cannon is nearly as good as the beer. Nearly. From wood-fired pizzas and flatbread to delicious pasta, steaks and sandwiches, there is something for every palate and a plate to pair with every pint. You can even try your hand at the Turning Blue Burger Challenge. But be forewarned, this is an endurance test on par with dog sledding the Iditarod. Every day at the Cannon promises a great time with a pub-like atmosphere, a place where everybody knows your name. And it is always close to 5 o'clock somewhere, so come visit us anytime at the Cannon Brew Pub. Raise a glass and take a long draft of human history. Mmm, beer.